So this is a consistent question we get when people are completing their profile in the payroll system, and it surrounds social security numbers and a mismatch. So your payroll profile onboarding page might look a little bit different, but the structure of the data is the same. First name, last name, uh, your birth date, uh, phone number, email, those will be completed for you. By the way, don't change phone number. We use it to connect you to many different systems. Um, and then your social security number. What the system does, what the payroll system does, is it allows for the creation of W-4 and I-9 documents. Those documents you got to put in your social. When we create these profiles, the system automatically auto assigns an incrementing number to you and every other employee that identifies you within it. So you have to go in and change that number to your actual number. So I'm just going to enter in, I'm just scrolling across the keyboard here. This, this isn't a real tax ID number. Um, uh, looks like I have one too many characters in there. I'm going to go fix that in a second. You got to key it in once, you got to key it in to verify it. Now they're verified. This applied for check may be checked for you. Uh, uncheck it and then key in the tax ID, your actual social security number, and then re-enter it. So the reason for the auto incrementing number is really for identity theft. We don't collect your social security number in just your average secure kind of format. The payroll systems that we use are extremely secure. They spend a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of hacker money or, or hacker time making sure that thieves can't log into their their tax ID information in their database, steal your documents and steal your information. In other words, your address, your social security number, your phone number, your email, all the rest of it. Uh, so they can create a fake profile for you and wind up credit in your name that you're going to be obligated for. We've all heard the stories. The payroll services and the payroll processors spend a lot of time and money on security. So we don't collect your social security number. We do it on purpose and we do it to protect you so that your social security number isn't out in the wild. It's not on some random shred or slip of paper in the office in a filing cabinet. It's only online and it's under a highly secure and very expensive payroll system. So that's why it's done that way. It's not intuitive, but you got to go in and change your tax ID to your actual number within the payroll system. Once you do that, the social security number you enter here and the number you enter on the W-4 and or your I-9 will tie. You won't get that error. Just make sure you actually key it in correctly and change the number the system auto assigned to you when your profile was created before you receive that email. So that's why. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call production, call us. We can walk you through it. It's pretty simple. Anyway, don't hesitate to call.